Okay, so in this video, we're going to continue talking about the Army units, and I want to go into a little bit more in depth into the unit experience. Now, I have an Army selected here. I'll bring up the mini map so you can see more specifically which one that I have selected. And again, you can see all the different units that I have down here below. Remember, like I've said before, a unit's experience can go from zero all the way up to six, which is considered expert. You can see all these units are listed as zero, so they're effectively new guys. They're fresh out of training. They're just hitting the battlefield. Now, this number can go up and down. Remember, attrition can reduce this. That happens during those winter months. But the basic way that you're going to gain experience and have your troops level up is going to be from your battles that you have. Now, your infantry and your cavalry units, they're going to have a base of 10% to upgrade per battle. But that can be raised by eliminating enemy units, and that's going to add 20% per enemy unit that you take out. However, these numbers are halved when it comes to your artillery units. So they only have a base of 5% per battle and 10% per enemy unit that they take out. So just as a quick little example here, let's take our infantry. And again, you can see their rating is a zero. So let's say this infantry unit participated in a battle and they survived and they killed two enemy units. That would give them a total of a 50% chance to go from the rank of zero to a one. Now, if it was an artillery unit under the same conditions, so they survived the battle and they killed two enemy units, they would only have a 25% chance to go from zero to one. Again, remember with your infantry and cab, it's going to be the 10% base plus 20 per enemy unit. And with artillery, it's had 5% base plus 10% per enemy unit destroyed. All right. Last thing that we're going to address real quick when it comes to our army units is going to be, of course, our generals, which you can see an example here of McDowell. And the specific number you need to pay attention to with them is their number in the upper right. The higher this number is, the better the general is going to be overall. And that's going to affect a multitude of different things when it comes to your units, their effectiveness when it comes to combat, to how many units you can have on the battle line when it comes to a minor battle, which we'll be covering in a later video, to even how likely the unit is to rally. So you want to focus on using those high level generals in your important battles.